Welcome back to Falcons RC, the home of the scale foamy jets. And today we're going to start the building of our SR71. Uh, here we have it. Uh, there is a link on the bottom over there where you can go and there is a website. You know, go to that website, click over there on that blue line over there, and just search. There is going to be a bunch of name of different aircraft, and just look for the SR71. A print, print that picture, you know, and. So you can do the build of the SR-71 with me, or if you prefer, you can actually build something else from that website too, you know. Uh, okay, the first thing we're going to do to build, to scale this piece of paper up, is mark all the main lines on the fuselage. Actually, we're just going to be worried about half of the fuselage right here, you know, uh, about half of it. You know, we're not going to be worrying about the other part of the jet. Uh, so let's go ahead guys and let's mark all the main lines like the first one and more important is going to be the one that goes across the middle of the aircraft right here and then we're going to mark like lines across this from this point over there of the wings uh, where the turbine join the fuselage on this corner right here with the wing another one from this point all the way over here too you know uh, basically all the the cross points every every pairs where there is a join you know the, the every single place where there is a join right there and actually as uh, you see right here on this picture the one you are going to download from that website i don't know what what kind of sr 71 is this one because uh you see how the fuselage was on the nose it's kind of weird so i just went ahead and draw this line round like the normal sr 71 that we all know so since you know so we have a very nice round point nose so let's go ahead and do it guys. Uh, it's going to be actually a semi scale, the one we're going to build. Uh, so it's not going to be a fully just 2D view, but it's not going to be a fully scale either. It's actually, go I, I, I'm hoping it's going to be a nice looking jet anyway. Uh, what you're going to need, uh, I recommend you to have a, a clear ruler, a small ruler, preferable if you can have one of these. You see this thing, very nice and flexible. Uh, you can get these things at Hobby Lobby, I think, or Lowe's. Uh, no, not Lowe's, just Hobby Lobby or Michael's. You see how flexible these things are? Ah, so I'll get you something like this. They're very good. So whenever you are drawing panel lines on your aircraft or whatever, they're good to do that kind of stuff. It's gonna go back itself, you know, straight up. And of course, a big ruler. As you see right here, this is a three foot ruler, I think. And a big square. You see this big square right here? And a smaller square too. So let's go ahead and, like I say, first thing, let's mark all, all the main lines on our fuselage. Uh, we're just gonna do it on half of the fuselage. They the they they have that we're going to be worried. You know the half that we're going to be working on. The other half uh, we're not going to be worried about. The other half. So I'm gonna mark them and then I'm going to show it to you so you can see what I got. Uh, that one right there uh, because the wing is not actually symmetrical all the way across. Uh, I'm gonna have to mark two lines right here. See square. This point right here. The wheel right here. Mm -hmm. right here. Now let's get one on the very, very back of the jet too. Uh, this is it's probably going to be very useful to to get the length of the rest of the pieces. That one right there. And I just go ahead and mark this line right here. On this case, this one right here. Uh, let's finish up this fuselage. Looks like it's pretty straight up. So finish it up all the way over there. And let's mark a square line on the nose too. Uh, this one here. I think that's probably gonna be all we are going to be needing. It's actually pretty simple. Oh, the one for the vertical stabilizer, guys. Uh, this one over here is two, uh, two centimeters. Right there, so we're gonna give it two on the back. And we're going to mark the line right here. Vertical stuff. Let's see if we join the same one with the yeah, yeah. It was perfectly centered with the turbine too. So basically, I think that's gonna be all. Oh, this one right here. It's actually a very easy jet. 
no, guys, uh, it's not gonna be very complicated to build it at all. There's not too many lines to scale up, so. Okay guys, uh, here we got it. Uh, you see right there? We got the main line across and then another bo oh, line right there on the main joints. Like on this corner right here, on this corner right here. I just went ahead and drove this line all the way across. Um, basically that's it guys, uh, we're just ready to scale up. Now, on this case, the first thing you have to you have to do is figure out how big you want your jet to be, you know. So if you want your airplane to be uh, something like the F-15 that I have over there, that one is about uh, about 36 inches long. Uh, it's actually, yeah, it's about 40 inches long. You know, uh, and, uh, you know, you start to figure out. That, let, let, let me show you something here. Uh, this jet right here, this piece of paper actually. So I'm going to show you how to do this. <laughs> it gets a little bit off whenever you zoom in too much. Okay, this jet right here, the length of it is six inches and three eight. Uh, just grab your calculator. Let's say uh, this is six inches and three eight. Six inches and three eight. Let's say you want your airplane to be somewhere around sixty. Uh, I don't know, 36 inches long, let's say 6 inches and 38 by 6 times. That will give us an, uh, 38 inches and 1 4. Uh, now the wing span is actually, the wing span is 3 inches and 5 8. So 3 inches and 5 8, 6 times, that will give us 21 inches and 3 4. I think I actually like that size, you know, I think I'm going to stick with it. 21 inches and 38, 3 4s. It's actually, I think it's gonna be very practical too, you know, because in that way we, we can use, we won't have to be drawing any sheets of foam, because that, that foam right there is two foot wide by four foot of length. So I can actually fit the whole jet on one sheet of foam. So that's actually gonna be pretty good. So I'm gonna stick with that, guys. Uh, you, you scale up, you know, on whatever length you want. You, can, you maybe want your airplane to be smaller. You maybe want it to be only five times bigger than your piece of paper. In that way, you know, you have a, a, a link that I said before is what? Six and three eight. So you get your calculator or if you're good with math, do it with your head. <laughs> I'm not that good. Six inches and three eight. So six inches and three eight. Now by five times. Uh, 31 inches and 7 8 that will be the total length of your jet if you decide to build it five five times bigger than your piece of paper um, basically that's good that's all we're going to be doing at the moment so all right guys uh you know go ahead print your print your image from that website do all this mark all your main lines as you see i'm perfect 45 guys you know very nice and everything like that and we're gonna do the next video and we're gonna keep working on it you know decide how big you want your airplane to be you know and then we we'll keep working on this thing thank you for watching guys subscribe see you next time